नमस्ते वेलकम टू अवेकन अग्नि द फायर ऑफ प्यूरिफिकेशन द फायर दैट हील्स ए बॉडी द फायर दैट एलिमिनेट्स टॉक्सिन्स द फायर दैट स्ट्रेंथेंस योर सेक्सुअल ऑर्गन्स एक्सक्रीटरी ऑर्गन्स रिप्रोडक्टिव ऑर्गन्स द फायर दैट इंप्रूव्स योर इम्यून स्ट्रेंथ सो इन दिस सीरीज आई टीच यू द टेक्निक्स दैट विल एलिमिनेट फिजिकल मेंटल एंड emotional toxins and increases vigor and vitality namaste let's begin to awaken the fire the fire within you i'm going to teach you a technique called agni sara this is a very powerful technique that awakens the inner fire the fire that strengthens your sexual organs excretory organs and reproductive organs it is a very powerful technique that helps even strengthen your lower abdomen muscles good and people who have constipation problem this is a wonderful technique it will help you remember women during menstrual period don't do this technique and pregnant women also don't do this so what you do here is legs slightly apart bend your knees place your hands on the knees like this when you rest your hands on the knees your abdomen should be relaxed your back is relaxed now staying in this pose what you do is start focusing on the movement of the abdomen as you inhale and exhale so you are now awakening the navel fire so what do you do inhale you lift your head up and your abdomen come like a balloon you see that like a balloon now when you exhale push the navel against the spine again inhale do it slowly good get the technique first exhale push the navel again inhale exhale push the navel again inhale chin up beautiful and exhale push the navel against the spine you don't hold the breath first again inhale beautiful and exhale push the navel against the spine good inhale beautiful and exhale push the navel against the spine one more time focus on your deep breathing inhale and exhale longer push the navel against the spine good and inhale good stand tall up see this is the first stage once you get it really good then go to the next one that is as you exhale you tighten the anus muscles up and also push the navel against the spine okay ready let's do it bend knees rest your hands like this okay inhale chin up now remember as you exhale simultaneously tighten the anus and push the navel against the spine good again inhale good as you exhale tighten the anus and pushing the navel against the spine good inhale in the beginning some of you might find it difficult to control the abdomen muscles but by practice you will feel the power you can feel the fire inhale within few times you can feel the sweat exhale right dripping right from your forehead good inhale exhale push the navel also tighten the anus muscles okay again inhale beautiful and exhale push the navel and tighten the anus muscles good two more inhale good and as you exhale push the navel and tighten the anus muscles good inhale and as you exhale stand taller good feet together stand taller back so straight don't stand like this open your shoulders more back as you inhale lift yourself on your toes ready begin to inhale and more opening up the chest the side of the ribs and you exhale let's do two more times inhale feel the opening of the side of the ribs exhale inhale feel the ribs opening up more and you exhale now this time bring your hands from the front lifting on your feet inhale raise your arms expanding your lower ribs opening the chest 
and you exhale. Again, inhale. Feel that breath filling, opening up your lower ribs and you exhale. One more time, inhale. Open up the chest and as exhale. Good, let's do one more stretch. That is good for your back. People who have uh, round shoulders, this is a wonderful technique. Lace your fingers overhead like this. Now what you do is, turning your palms outwards, lift yourself as you inhale. Inhale, higher, and your hands go back straight, not to the front. Your biceps touching your ears, a little higher, like you're pushing the sky with your palms. And exhale. Let's do it two more times. Inhale, really higher, opening up the chest, the lower ribs, tighten the base, and you exhale. One more time, inhale, and hold it. Stay here, tightening the base, the anus muscles, some more higher. Now hold this pose, breathing here for 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven. Slowly look up to the ceiling, six, five, four, three, one more inch up and release. Bring your hands down. Now facing this side, come feet together like this. You're very centered. Now open the shoulders back. Standing tall, back so straight. Raise your arms up. Raise arms and lengthen yourself taller. Good, now bend your knees halfway down and rest your palms on the floor in front of your feet and head is down. Stay there. Feel the length of the spine, breathing. Good. Now lace your fingers, turn your palms outwards and stay keeping your abdomen on the thighs and stretch your arms really long in front of you. Now stay here longer, elbows are straight, breathing. Feet together, so this one does not hurt, but it strengthens. Five more seconds, four, three, two, just again fall forward just stay there knees bend still and take two breaths here again slowly lace your fingers palms turn outwards look at the hands and stretch the arms really far away so you're actually lengthening the spine you see 10 seconds nine eight seven you can feel already the fire coming up from your muscles from your body four three from your breath right and slowly now place your hands there and get your legs little straight head is down just do your best and see how far you can stretch don't worry in the beginning you may not get it okay you may not straighten the legs that's fine just stay with the, wherever you are now hold it little by little not necessary you're like this by practice you slowly get your legs more straight and your head will go Good. Now, I want you to hold the big toe with the first two fingers. This time you can do it more greater. Now, as you exhale, touch the head to the shin bone. If you find it difficult, that's fine. Stay in this position. Knees are bent. But by practice, you can find your body is getting longer and you can do this pose. Good. Bend your knees and begin to raise your arms up and stand taller. Good. Now bring your hands to the heart center together and bring your hands down. That's good. So take two breaths and now we move into more powerful postures to strike more fire in the body. Let's begin. Now, raise your arms from the side, overhead. Bend your knees, fall forward. You see, it's quite safe for your back. Now take your right leg back. Good. And also take your left leg back and downward facing dog. Head is down, chest towards your thighs. Knees are so straight. Keep on breathing. Now bring your right leg outside your right feet. 
this time. Hip is down and ready. Hip more down and keep your knees so tight and straight. And stretch your arms to the front. Stay there, longer. Longer body, lengthening the spine. Hip is down. This helps open up the hips, creates heat. Five more seconds, hip some more down. And keep this back leg very tight, okay? And longer body, don't hunch your back. Five more seconds, four, three, and keep the legs, don't move the legs, only the upper body and open to the side warrior. Stay here. Make sure you don't lean on the leg like this. Center, and your pelvis forward, okay? So you can tilt your pelvis front. Now stay in this pose, breathing. The more down you go, you can feel the legs, wow. They create a lot of heat and they get the strength, the tone you deserve. Now stay here. Now slowly get your knee straight, right knee straight, and reach your feet. Okay, reach your feet with your right hand and you look at your hand up. Now hip, push it forward. Now breathe longer here. Beautiful. That's good. Aisha, how are you feeling? Yes. I tell you, hips a little more forward. Beautiful. Yeah. Focus on the exhalations. And imagine you're exhaling with the throat. Two. One more time. Long exhalation. And push one more. Little more the hips forward. Good. And now slowly, left hand join the right hand. And just drop your head down. Stay here longer okay good keep lengthening the spine you're not going to reach the head to the knee you're going more front stay here five more seconds good four beautiful longer three two now lift your head up left hand place it on the right feet and keep turning your body more and more opening your right shoulder. Now stretch your arm up to the ceiling. Now stay here, lengthening the spine. Go turn more, opening the shoulders, breathing. Stay longer, exhalations. Hold the pose. Knees both should be straight. Don't give up, hold on. If your neck is tired, it's okay. You just look down and look up to release the tension. Good. And now slowly come down, again, rest your head, five seconds, four, three, two, look ahead and bend your knee one more time and stretch your arms really longer, lengthening, hip is down, breathe, ten seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, uh, stay there, just raise your arms up and open to the side wall. Stretch your arms to the side. Okay, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two. And now place both the hands on the floor and take your leg back into downward facing dog. Now you can see your body can open more, better. Bring your chest slowly towards your thighs, your knees are so straight, hips higher, spread fingers, press palms, and breathe. Feel the breath at your throat, awakening the fire that illuminates physical and mental toxins. Focus on your breath. Good, drop into the child, rest your head. Again, now slowly come up into downward facing dog, hips really higher. Good. Head is down, chest towards your thighs, knees are so straight. Keep on breathing. Now, bring your left leg outside your left arm like this. 
hip is down, look ahead. Ready? Some more down and keep your right leg so tight. Don't bend like this. Keep it straight. And now stretch your arms to the front. Lacing fingers. There you go. Longer body. Hip is down. Stay here. I tell you, this one creates great heat in the hips. It opens hips. It's a great hip flexure. Now hold the pose really longer, keeping your back so straight. Five more seconds. Four, three. Now slowly raise the arm up and to the side. That's good. Now hold this pose. See, keeping your back so straight and don't lean on the front leg. Just be centered and the pelvis, push it forward. Now hold this pose, breathing. Good. A little more down will give great energy. You can feel your legs right now. You can feel them really hot, like fire. Okay? This strengthens your quadriceps. It tones your buttocks and it opens the hips. Now take two more breaths here. Good. Now what you do is slowly straighten your knee, left knee, and reach your feet with your left hand and your right hand up to the ceiling. That's good. Now stay here. Okay, keep your hand on the feet. This, what we're trying to do is to balance the body. If you, if you find it difficult, if you cannot do this, maybe you can be here, placing the hand on the knee, that's fine. But slowly you start sliding your hand down to reach. Now stay there breathing. This is good for your hips. And release stiffness and pain in the hips, neck, and your back. Even you have problems or back problems and neck problem for a long time, this one, release it, eliminate that. Now, hips are more front, arm stretch it up. Now what do you do, bring your right hand and let your right hand join your left hand. And now stay here and rest your abdomen, head is down. Now stay there breathing. A longer breaths. Okay, you mean, some of you may not be like this, may be like this, they cannot go that down. That's fine, stay here and breathe. But by practice, keep sliding your hand. Day by day, you'll improve. You need to practice regularly. Head is down. Okay, five more seconds here. Keep on breathing. Longer exhalations. Creating the humming sound. Good. Now place your right hand on your feet, okay? Check your balance with your right feet, okay? Place your right hand on your left feet and turn more this side, opening the left up. Now stretch your left hand up to the ceiling. Now keep your spine longer, like you want to reach the ceiling with your hand, broad shoulders. Now stay here, okay? Don't place the hand this side, maybe if you want to, place it over your feet like this that's fine now keep on breathing and make sure both your knees straight you got five more seconds long exhalations focus on your breath good and again come back slowly place the hands back on your feet head is down and stay here focus on your breath ten seconds Five, and now bend your knee, look ahead, and again stretch your arms right in front, lacing your fingers, stay here. Longer body, hip is down, 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, raise your arms slowly up, don't move your legs, and now open your hands to the side warrior, stay here, breathing. Good. Now place your hands down on the floor and take the leg back. Head is down. It is downward. And again come down to the child. Take two breaths. So this one helps open up the back, release all the tension, corrects hunch back round shoulders. Improves a lot of blood circulation to the heart and to the face. Now, bring your right leg in between arms. Hip is down. Look ahead. Keep your left leg really tight. Very tight. Together. 
Now this time, hold your ankles at the back. A knee straight, head is down, observe base lock, tighten the anus muscles and head down, breathing. See this posture is not only for stretching, it gives a good massage to the large and small intestines, okay? Improves a lot of blood circulation and people who have a back problem, you can bend your knees like this and practice. Gradually you can feel your legs getting more straight. Okay, five more seconds. Four. Good, bend your knees. Look ahead, lengthen the spine, raise arms up. Stay here and namaste. Bring your hands down. Now, come on your, your elbows. Okay, there you go. Good, relax your head. Now, this is another powerful technique that strengthens your abdomen muscles, awakens the fire. Okay, you can feel it right now. Now, pull the toes in. Keep your legs so straight. Rest on your elbows. Relax the back so you don't hurt the back. Now, look at your navel. Keep on breathing. Good. Now slowly lift your legs up. Just a little. And breathe. Hold it for 10, 9, 8. Okay. So you can feel the heat coming up. It's not really tough. You see, you no need to do 1,000 sit-ups to make your abdominal muscles stronger or to keep the inner... Uh, organs very healthy you see just like this five more seconds four three two and down good take two breaths okay now again slowly lift your legs up and this time open a little out like we now hold it keep on focusing at your navel center and feel that fire you're awakening the fire that is only focus I keep on thinking of awakening more and more fire. This fire is great for digestion, for elimination, for sending nutrition to your whole body. Okay? And together. And down. Take two breaths. Beautiful. <laughs> you feel the fire? You see? I tell you, you keep any pan with water, it'll boil. Now, lift your legs a little up. Now, this time you do another variation. Open the legs a little out. Ready? Now, when I give you the count, you cross your legs. One, cross your legs. Then hold it. That's it. Very simple. Again, cross your legs. And open your legs. Hold it. Again, cross your legs. Hold it. Beautiful. Don't drop your legs. This is just another seven times. Se seven times, right? Cross your legs open you can feel the fire more and more getting again cross your legs open I see okay four more cross your legs open keep breathing keep breathing three more cross your legs open good stronger two more come on feel that whoa it's very hot open one more time cross your legs open together stay here ten nine eight seven six five four three two down just lie down relax relax the feet and again focus at your navel center feel your breath your navel coming up navel come going down navel coming up and falling down that's good now slowly open your eyes hug your knees and come on your stomach okay now we're going to open the pelvis, the pelvic energy. Hmm? See, if there is any block in the pelvis, there is a problem or there is some discomfort in the internal organs because something like, see, something tight like this. There is no blood and energy in this. So when you open the pelvis, you improve blood circulation. So the internal organs will be very healthy. So what you do is stay in this pose and now bend your right leg like this. Very simple. Press, make sure your inner thigh is touching. Place the palms 
at the shoulder like this. Keep the left leg really straight. And now, press the groin down to the floor as you lift yourself up. Good, press the groin down. You want to touch the groin, you want to touch the right inner thigh. Stay here, opening up, and again come down. Again, inhale. A little more, but make sure you don't lift the groin. Press the groin down. Keep stretching the left leg so straight. And press more the groin, lifting more and more. And down. Good. One more time, lift up. Press the groin down. Stay here. This is good for your back and also good to open the pelvis. Stay there. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and slowly down. Good. Bring this leg down straight. Okay, take two breaths. Now, take the left leg and bend your left leg like this. You see? And make sure you rest your thigh fully on the floor. Place the hands at the shoulders. Keep the right leg so straight. Now inhale, chin up. Okay, press the groin down. Your elbows are slightly bent. You see? It gives a nice opening in the pelvis and also is good for your back and op opens your heart center. Down again, exhale. Again, inhale. Press the groin down to the floor. Lift yourself up. Good. One more time. Down. And inhale. Stay here in this post breathing for 10 seconds. Keep on pressing the groin down. Maybe some people are like this. There's so much space. But by practice, you push the knee out like this. Okay. Pressing more the groin. Five more seconds. Four three, two, and slowly come down. Just bring the leg down straight, place your hands in front, just like that, and rest your forehead. Good, now slowly lift your head up. And now let's go into a very powerful posture called Makarasana. In this pose, you do nothing. You just stay still, focusing on the breath. So get your legs slightly apart like this and drop your heels inwards. Now, lengthen your spine. Come on your elbows. Now hold your biceps like this. Now stay in this pose, but don't tense the shoulders. Just relax the shoulders. Elbows a little front. And now, rest your forehead. Stay in this pose, relax your face. This pose is a very powerful pose that is good to strengthen your pelvic area. Any problems relating to menstrual disturbances, menstrual cramps, this is a wonderful technique. Irregular menstruation, this is a wonderful technique. This pose is a great gift for women. It is also very good for men. It strengthens the prostate gland. It improves a lot of blood circulation to the bladder and keeps the urinary tract very healthy. And it also strengthens the diaphragm muscle, the muscle that is responsible for your respiration. And high stress, lower back pain, think of this pose. It's good to do right after your work. It's wonderful. Okay, now what I want you to do is first relax your whole body and as you turn your heels, you see, you touch the inner thigh. That's what happens when you turn your heels in. I want you to stay there and make sure there's no tension in the shoulders. And just follow my voice. Here, when you inhale, you inhale slowly and deeply, pressing your abdomen against the floor. When you exhale, relax into the floor. Don't lift your abdomen, just press it against the floor. Okay, again, when you inhale, feel the breath at your abdomen and press your abdomen against the floor. And when exhale, relax into the floor. Do not hold breath. 
Breathe longer. Inhale. Press your abdomen against the floor and exhale. Relax into the floor. Good. Again, inhale deeper. Press your abdomen against the floor. And as you exhale, relax into the floor. Some of you might lift the abdomen like this. Don't do that. Just you got to press the abdomen like this. And when exhale, you relax into the floor. Inhale, press your abdomen against the floor. And when exhale, relax into the floor. Do not jerk your breath. Do not hold your breath. More and more relax your shoulders, your arms, your face. Relax your eyes. Relax your thighs. More and more relax your lower abdomen and feel the breath so gently filling your abdomen with energy and as you exhale relax into the floor so this breathing technique awakens the inner fire that heals your entire abdomen again inhale feel the breath deeper and as you exhale relax into the floor again inhale press your abdomen against the floor and as you exhale relax into the floor. stay with your breathing okay maintain that breath and make sure you relax your whole body okay relaxing the eyes relaxing your nose relaxing your jaw relaxing both the shoulders relaxing your chest Relaxing your abdomen, relaxing your inner thighs. Again, focus on your breath. Feel the breath, the flow of breath. Okay. Stay in this pose. Breathing so deeply. Breathing without any jerk. Take 12 more deep breaths. Breathing so deeply. Eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven. Five, four, three, two. Good. Closed eyes. Slowly turn your body aside to the front. Bend your knees. Rest your head on your arm. And slowly sit up, cross legged. Sit and tall back straight. Long spine. Now bring your hands together at your heart center close your eyes now listen to this powerful mantra mantra is a positive affirmation 
the vibration sounds. And this mantra increases your healing force and brings health, vigor and vitality. Om. Purbhuvasva Tatsavitar Varenyam Bargo Devasya Dhimahi Diyo Yona Prachodayatu Om Purbhuvasva Savitur Varenyam Bargo Devasya Dhimahi Diyo Yona Prachodayat Om Bhur Bhuvasva Tat Savitur Varenyam Bargo Devasya Siddhi Mahi Dio Yona Pracho Dayat Om Shanti 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 Namaste